Hi everyone, it's Tease. Hope everyone's doing well. It's the shop right before Easter weekend. So I thought I would do a Easter Aldi grocery haul for you. It's nothing special. <laughs> but I just like to do, especially the seasonal hauls especially Christmas so this one's an Easter and there's not much Easter there at all but I will explain as I go along so this shop cost a hundred and seventy seven dollars and not forgetting this is Australian Aldi so we will begin with the water. I bought four bottles of mineral water. Normally I buy more but we still have plenty in the garage. Normally get about eight a week at least. I drink these as I go out and about. Um, so yeah I needed some more smaller bottles of water so I bought those for myself this is next week's special catalogue for next week's specials I bought some pasta I'm trying to stock up on rice and pasta this is for the lolly jar for the granddaughters just some raspberry licorice twists which I love too and I've got to be careful not to eat them all this one is just for Easter um, some shortbread finger, butter shortbread fingers, which is always nice to have with a cuppa. I'm going to make some brownies. Um, we're just having family over for a sausage sizzle. So something very simple and I'll just make some brownies to go with that. Who loves these vegetable straws? Mm. I can eat a whole bag of those so that's to go out on Easter Sunday as well along with the twisties I did have a packet in the cupboard but I ate them this is why I should not ever buy too early So everyone loves twisties, I love those. Which side? I think we'll do the veggies and the fruit next. I bought uh, twin baby cos lettuce for salads and sandwiches. Bought some baby spinach for salads and they're nice on eggs. Um, for breakfast in the morning and some mushrooms and a tomato on the side or something like that bought red capsicum and green capsicum or bell peppers whatever you like to call them I love seedless grapes and I've been buying the red ones not a real lot because they are expensive but this week they were quite cheap. Um, I think it was three ninety nine a kilo. I think this is a kilo bag, and they look really delicious. So I bought that to um, put out with a dip on Easter because we're having a. a sausage sizzle so it's just barbecued sausages basically for you those that don't know you can't have um, barbecue sausages in bread without some onions so I bought another bag of onions I love butternut pumpkin especially roasted so I bought half of the butternut pumpkin they were on special today I have plenty of zucchini, well 
another two I think in the fridge so I just bought one more I bought some lemons some oranges I like to have an apple and an orange sometime during the day so I cut it up nice in a bowl and just enjoy that so I've got the pink lady apples and what sort of oranges are these navel oranges so I've got that I've got some strawberries to put out with the dips Some broccoli. Got a little bit of broccoli left in the fridge. Some baby cucumber, which I love dipping those in hummus. But they're good for salads. Little uh, cocktail truss tomatoes. I didn't buy the big ones this week. And my cherry tomatoes that I was growing out the back they finished now so I've probably got about four or five of little tiny tomatoes left in the refrigerator so back to the bought store bought tomatoes until mid spring got a couple of avocados let's go over to the cold goods you know what looking at this cheese this is just light cheese slices I normally put these in burgers or I love to make a sandwich with pickles and I forgot the pickles <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go back some stage some orange juice and this one is the one with pulp they have orange juice without pulp but I always like the pulp in there gives you more fibre I guess some people don't like it but I do I've got a couple of packets of um, shaved ham I think they're about a dollar seventy nine each most weeks I'll get this for myself they're beautiful Vietnamese style spring rolls and I normally just have two of those for lunch just a a treat for myself. Um, bought six lamb loin chops and that was $15.49. Lamb is very expensive here in Australia. It always has been. It used to be so cheap when uh, I was growing up as a kid. Mum used to have a lamb roast quite often. And when my children were young, we'd have a lamb roast at least once a fortnight. So, it's just very expensive to buy. But I thought I would buy some and we can cook those on the barbecue. I bought some cabana sticks for Easter. Just for a platter some milk for hubby I bought the Greek style yogurts it has honey granola and this is raspberry flavoured for me hubby likes the plain Greek yogurt so he's still got plenty in the refrigerator got some tasty cheese slices it's a 12 I used to get the big ones but they've gone up to seven dollars almost this one was four so these I think are about $12 um, chicken kebabs honey soy flavor they come in satay and a barbecue flavor as well there's 15 no there's 10 that's deceiving you have to cook it in 15 minutes but there is 10 so that um, that does two meals for hubby and I hubby will have three and I'll have two and then I normally make a salad or something or a lovely chicken rice 
and veggies. And I'm out of chicken breast fillets, so I individually wrap these in freezer bags and then I just take out as many as I need. So I bought that, that's $13.63 and that is 1.364 kilograms. So it's $9.99, basically $10 a kilo. And I got some more snags, some sausages for hubby and I. I'll probably make deviled sausages with those at some stage, so that'll go in the uh, freezer. Bought myself two uh, almond milk, unsweetened, I like this brand. And I also bought an oat milk. I thought I'd try that in lasagna or something like that. My daughter uses that because her um, little one has an allergy to milk and she said you can't tell the difference when you use this instead of milk for cream milk. So I thought I'd try that. Now, I think I've done everything over here. I tend to forget things sometimes. Okay, Kalamata olives, and this one is pitted. That's for to go with the dips and such. Actually, no, that's go to go with pizza. This one here is to go on the platters. These are Spanish stuffed green olives, and I love those as well. Bought some fruity burst triple berry because the granddaughters like that. And I love this American style peanut butter. Um, I'm almost out of that. I have a teaspoon of this in my oats in the morning. And I put a date in there as well to sweeten it up. And I use almond milk so. It's a nice filling breakfast. Got some more salada biscuits so we run out. That's nice to snack on. Let's have some cheese on there or just Vegemite. I have some shapes, barbecue shapes to go with the dip. Hubby needs some shampoo, so I bought this one. It's a nice big one that lasts for a while. Some more dishwashing liquid. And non-scratch scourges, or scourer, sponge scourer. So that's it. I will take you over to the kitchen bench. Still got my keys here. Whatever I normally can't get at Aldi, I'll go to Woolworths. So I think it was about $27 this bit here. You can't, I just really can't believe a little bag is $27 worth, but I might be wanting to make a Christmas, not a Christmas wreath, a Easter wreath for the door. And if I don't get to finish it this year, it'll be definitely done for next year. So I bought these beautiful metallic eggs. Aren't they beautiful? They don't sell these little boxed tissues at Aldi, so I always get one of those. And that's just for next to my bed. Finally, Woolworths have in stock the continental chicken flavoured rice. For weeks I haven't been able to get these, especially in the chicken. Last week I got the oriental, so I should have bought more, but I didn't want to spend too much more. I was already spending an extra 30, so I just got two. And that's really nice just to have as a side dish. 
if you're feeling lazy and you don't want to make something from scratch and it's very tasty don't like the other brands Continental's the best for the chicken rice in my opinion I put some Condensed cream of chicken soup. And these chickpeas were only 85 cents each. They were on sale. So I used one up and I bought an extra. is my favourite chocolate caramel caramelised white chocolate I love white chocolate so I got something little for myself and this was $8 normally $10 and they are Cadbury Roses and this one is a limited edition, so I thought, mmm, I'll try those. Um, let's turn it around. So starting from the top left, this one here, and working that way. A classic milk. Hazelnut Swirl, Vanilla Nougat, Classic Caramel, Peppermint, Creme Crunch, oops, over there, Caramel Deluxe, Dark Mocha, Turkish Delight, which is one of my favourites, White Raspberry, mmm, I'd have to pinch one of those. And hazelnut creme crisp. So I thought I would try those. And of course, after Easter, they'll probably be on sale. But I want this for the Easter weekend. So that's it, guys. Is my Aldi haul. I hope everybody has a lovely Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you stay safe and have a wonderful weekend anyway. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because most of my viewing comes from people that are actually unsubscribed so it'd be lovely if you could subscribe and come back to my channel take care everyone thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now